let let us look at uh, this question on complex num number numbers again so the question is find the locus so you find the equation of the locus of the point representing z if modulus of z minus 3i minus modulus of z plus 3i is equal to 2. So z is a complex number so we can let z to be x plus yi. And before I do the next step, modulus when you say modulus of z is nothing but square root of x squared plus y squared. Now how did I get this? Now when you're looking at complex number, you're looking in a complex plane which is also called the organ plane. Where this is the real arm and let me use a different color, all green. So this is your real arm of the axis and this is called the imaginary x uh, that this is called the imaginary arm or this is also called the z arm so this is different than the x and y arm okay so this is also called you can call this the real arm or the ima imaginary sorry this is the imaginary arm and this is the real arm so this is say your real number suppose this is say x which is the real part and uh, say this is y i this is generally so this point is z which is x plus y i so a complex number is not on a line a real number is on a line complex number is in a plane okay or you can also understand this as a vector so if z is a complex number z can be uh, understood as this vector where the horizontal component is x and the vertical component is y i and modulus of z when talking about modulus of z is this distance okay, and this is the angle of course i'm not going into that so this is the angle so for for finding the distance of this point from the origin o you can you use pythagoras so here you can say the horizontal part is x x and the vertical part is y you don't write i i is only to show you the position of the axis okay, so modulus of z is x squared plus square root of x squared plus y squared so that should be kept in mind okay so i can say uh, let me write what is z minus 3i would be x x plus y i x plus y i minus 3i okay so this you can simplify as x plus y minus 3i okay and z plus 3i can be written as x plus y i plus 3i so x plus 3i so writing this in real and imaginary part so this is x is your real part and imaginary part is y plus 3i so if you want to find if you want to express modulus of z minus 3 would be square root of x squared that's the real part plus the imaginary part without the i so that should be very clear because if you square it, it will become i squared, so it doesn't, uh, it would not work later on because i is only to show you the position. So when you are finding modulus, you don't use i. Same way, z plus 3, modulus of z plus 3 would be square root of x squared plus y plus 3 squared. Okay, so let me write the question. The question is modulus of z minus 3 i minus modulus of 3 z plus 3 i is equal to 2 so let me write that so it says modulus of z minus 3 i minus modulus of z plus 3 i is equal to 2 so now we'll start the question so we know modulus of z minus 3 is this 
number which is x squared plus y minus 3 squared minus square root of this would be x squared plus y plus 3 squared y plus 3 the whole squared is equal to 2 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this I'm going to add this this to both the sides so the next step how you can move whichever way you understand so this is same as square root of x squared plus y minus 3 squared now you do a lot of algebra plus square root of x squared plus y plus 3 squared now what can we do so we have to square both sides so let me write that squaring both sides squaring both sides so you can stop the video if you want and try to square both sides and see how it would end up so let me use brown color so if i square the square root the square root will disappear so x squared plus y minus 3 squared and now you have to square this so a good formula to remember is i find some space the formula is a good formula to remember is a plus b the whole squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared you should be knowing this formula because this is very useful when you're expanding brackets or a perfect square this is also called a perfect square so using this formula this will be 4 plus 2 times 2 would become to be 4 plus 2 times a your a is 2 so it'll be 4 times 4 times square root of this whole thing which is x squared plus y plus 3 squared and then again you have to square this which will become x squared plus y plus 3 squared okay so i need more space so let me expand this so this is x squared plus again using the formula so i can put a plus or minus here if it's a plus or minus here it'll be plus or minus so this will be y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 4 plus 4 times I'll leave this as it is for the time being I don't want to disturb this and this is this expands to x squared plus y squared plus 6y plus 9 so you've got x squared and x squared on both sides so you can cancel the x squared and x squared from both sides and cancel the y squareds from both sides you can cancel the 9 from both sides so what happens now okay so it's a, a long expansion so what will happen is uh, 9 and 9 gets cancelled so let me uh, this will become if you bring this to this side so um, yeah I'll con uh, continue with brown so this is minus 12y minus 6y brought to this side is 4 or oh, I'll also bring this 4 to the left hand side minus 12 minus 4 is 4 times square root of x squared plus y plus 3 squared now what can we do you got a 4 here I can see a 4 here so this is 4 if you take out the 4 this will be minus 3y minus 1 is equal to 4 times square root of x squared plus this at times can be tedious but you need to be patient okay so you've got y and sorry 4 and 4 gets cancelled and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides so I can say uh, minus you can factor out uh, okay so I'll not factor out so minus 3y minus 1 squared is equal to x squared plus y plus 3 squared so now we'll, what will happen this is this is you can factor out a minus 1 out so 
so this will become 3y plus 1 the whole squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 6y plus 9 so this is the same as minus 1 squared is 1 so this is 3y plus 1 3y plus 1 squared which is 9y squared plus 6y plus 1 is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 6y plus 9. So what can be cancelled? You have got a 6y on both sides, so you can cancel the 6y. So what will remain? So if you take everything on the right hand side, 0 is equal to x squared plus y squared plus 9 minus 9y squared minus 1. So this is nothing but x squared minus 8y squared. Uh, yes, x squared minus 8y squared plus 8 is equal to 0. So this becomes, um, okay, so I'm going to divide all by 8. So this is x squared over 8 minus y squared plus 1 is equal to zero okay so here yeah, if you want to write this so this will become uh, I'll keep the one on this side so one is equal to y squared minus x squared over eight so this is the equation y squared over one minus x squared over eight is equal to one and this is nothing but the equation of a hyperbola okay so we are not we are not uh, asked to write the equation so this is we have written the equation and this is just for this is uh, an equation of a hyperbola so this complex number when you sketch it it becomes a hyperbola hyperbola